where we can look at a loading screen. <coughs> yes. <coughs> Please hold while I load. Anyway, yes. Uh. Green team for this game will be WND, and they're going to be running Montana, Burgoyne, Moskva, Minotaur, Harugumo, Clever, Clever, Clever. Did it, did it, did it. Clever, clever, clever. Did it, did it. And a rock, no, rock, no, rock, no. Okay, let's, that's enough of that. Henning, what have you got for uh, Shaft? You haven't played a different game. I'm sure if you should do that. Um, Shaft is bringing Ohio, Kremlin, Salem, Moskva, Minotaur, Double Harugumo, Daring, and a Wagner. No clever very... for Shaft, even though it's not banned. That's interesting. Very... ED heavy setups. I just have to hide some text on my screen. There we go. Perfect. Especially from WND bringing 5DD. That's a lot. And again, they're, they're like relying on a wolf pack to do stuff, which could easily backfire. I think we have I seen mean, that last week, right? Yeah, we've seen in the past that the wolf packs, like, if they can't find anything to farm, then they just, like, end up being kind of, like, left in the dirt. Not really useful. I'm also not sure about the battleship picks, if I'm being honest. Like, Montana, Burgoyne, kind of feels like you're not bringing battleships at all. Like, Montana is like the most battleship -y of the of the two, but... I mean, I've said it several times before, I just don't like it. I don't. I just don't think it's threatening enough. Let's have a look at six. And I haven't seen anything particularly spicy with the builds. Like, I've just been, like, flicking through and there's nothing really stuck out to me. Yeah. We are outside of like, you know, regional groups and qualification stage. Ah Nothing yes, we have qualified for happening. the EU. We have qualified for EU, so we got the standard EU builds now. Yeah, anyway, that's all look at the enough. initial deployments we, we, we do have we do have a legendary Kremlin, so I didn't see that part. I was not paying that much attention. Like... Okay, over at the air cap, we're gonna be sending Kleber, 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 Haragumo, Minotaur, Burgoyne, Moskva. No wait, there's just two clubbers, not three. I'm I'm a little bit silly. Yeah. Then at B Cup we have Ragnar Montana and C we have a Kleber, and that'll be all the Julian T deployment. What have you got for Shaft? Uh, Shaft is sending a daring up the four line right now. Aragumo, Wagner, and Minotaur are going towards A with an Ohio behind it. Moskva is going for the standard Moskva Island below C with Aragumo as support and Salem Kremlin are gonna go wide to the 999. Which makes sense. Like using a legendary Kremlin like that, totally understandable. Roadside Moskva Ohio. is radaring. Eh, it takes zero damage. <laughs> I mean, it's a big right? Moscow might just end up eating tops here immediately. Never mind, they don't have range. No, they don't have range. Um, but the clever not actually getting everything he wanted to at the start of that. Yeah, the Moscow yeah. had a good spawn, so the way that came out in time. <laughs> Imagine the game is being decided on potential RNG of the spawn. No, it couldn't be us, right? Couldn't be us. Right, clever does get dark. Um, he's gonna be partly sat there with his broken engine reversing back in. It's a couple of bit, bit, bit more blind fire coming in, but there should be he's running no, damage gun now. There should be really no contest threat against him right now. Like he should be able to get back in there and take the cap for free. I say for free. He's already lost like you know. Uh, it's it, gonna but... be difficult if the Harugumo decides to hard contest. He's not gonna get that. Well, the clever did not actually decide to contest, and the Harugumo is not there. I mean, is that a radar Salem? I didn't actually check. Um, okay. that is a radar Salem. All right, interesting. Oh yeah, we didn't go over the bands. The bands were Brisbane and Des Moines, weren't they? We did go over them. Did we? Okay, I was busy molding. <laughs> <sighs> it's fine. It's not though. Right, uh, B cap torpedoes yes. towards Ragnar. He takes one. Oh no. Indeed. It's also Brisbane. Brisbane tops coming for the WND Kleber. Oh no. Oh, okay, out. they expired. Alright, radar comes out from a Moscow and north of B, picks up the daring south of it. And also, Kleber tops going for the Wagner, and he just takes one midsection. Nice. Wait, where? Uh, A cap. Oh, this Wagner, Ragnar. Was... yeah, Shaft Ragnar. And yeah, it was a midsection top hit with the Kleber top, that hurts a lot. A oh, daring yeah, is currently old. raided by the Moskva below of B and is getting shelled by two uh, by the bear and Wagner here. He is not having fun. I did I did mention that radar. It's still going. It's not going anymore. It's it's, it's expired. I mean, the daring is limping away with no engine, no top tubes, no guns, uh, no Damacon, but no fires. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's some RNG for you, right? I mean, he's still at 5k HP, so he's not going to contest B anymore. 
Right, well, Shaft's heavy little nine ten, uh, sorry, seven eight line push is now uh, coming through, but rotating off this towards the rest of it is going to be a problem. Like, you have a clever for spotting and the Montana waiting for the salvo, so if you're on the cruisers, you're just like, I don't want to be the first to turn! And then you still have to actually, like, get to B. No, there's more stuff happening at A. There is some trading back and forth. Smoke screens yelling at each other loudly. This could be a drops on the 99 could be spicy. I'll keep an eye in the background. They're, they're over there. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, oh, Nauru barely dodges them, and I think the same has a gap as well. Okay. That was pretty close. I'm surprised at how little damage just went down between this, like, radar mine at all. You say that, but the shaft minotaur has lost half its health. It's weird seeing Minotaurs. I, it's, I know it's because Brisbane's banned and Nevsky's banned and all that, but like... Oh, and Des Moines is banned, so it's like... Yes. Alright, what, what, what was our third choice of like... Eh. There's just nothing left to put in this smoke screen at that point. At least something that has weight out of this. Mm. You, you could put a Salem in there, but it gets outranged by the Minotaur. Um, yeah. Moscow's like hard limited. You could put a Stalingrad in there, it's not a very good idea, but you could. Let's nod. So, how does the situation look like? Obviously, Shaft has a lot of HP, especially on DDs, yeah. which is limiting their ability to contest, and they're down, down a cap as a result. Um, they are now looking at the Moskva on the fall line, who's like very exposed, but look at the work, look at Shaft's work now, he's getting pummeled. I've just realized I forgot to do some things. Group, enable all. Group, disable all. That would have been fun if my alerts went off. <laughs> that would have been fun. It is isn't damage to, uh, being done on the WD Moscow, but I think... Wait, he actually cannot reverse. There's a Kremlin waiting for him. Yeah, Dino should probably go down here. I'm not sure if he's like got many other options apart from exploding. Uh, like, Ar Ragnar is not going to do some screening for the him. Rag the Ragnar Haragumu can't shoot him forever. They're getting pressure themselves. Yeah, but like, they don't have to. They just have to shoot him long enough. Well, it's now on a permafire. No damage gone for 20 seconds. No V inside. Yeah, okay, now he's... I guess he's just dead now. Do they get the Minotaur as a ret uh, in return though? This Minotaur is hard spotted outside the smoke screen now. Uh, he's running a heal. But he's there's so many shells coming. He's fine. Mos he's... Moskva does go down. I don't think he's fine. He's fine. I don't think he's fine. Yeah, he, is, he, is, he is now out. He could get dark. Oh, never mind. There's a perma fire. He's dead. He also had three of his torpedo tubes perma during that, by the way. Nice. So, WD trades here. However, they lose control over the BK because the Moskva went down. Um, and now they have a Kremlin to chew through here. Question is, can they like effectively do that? Well, we've still got 11 minutes left on the clock, and with this point flip, once we get... Well, there's this Kremlin daring Moskva. These guys should be able to take this cap, but they've also zoned out. Because, yes. look, it's it's just a wall of DDs that you have to fight into. Like, despite I mean, the look fact... At the, look at the general map control of WND. It's just non-existent. It's like a like, quarter of the map here. Despite the fact that you have to have so a... many low HP ships, like, they still have less HP. Like, they still have more HP overall, just because they brought yeah. more HP. Honestly, trading the Minotaur uh, that was like on a kiting flank for a Moskva that was controlling a cap was a really good trade. Yes, they lost a lot of HP on like Wagner and Harumo as well for that, but like now that Shaft has flipped B, WND needs to find a way back. And my god, they're lacking map control for that.
So the question is, where is WND rotating? I guess they're trying to go for the Kremlin here, but that's like one of the most unattractive targets ever. Moscow Raider comes out, catches Wagner and Kleber. That's actually good info. And shots coming out immediately. Like another thing I don't really like is that WND only has one smoke screen in, uh, with like their five DDs, and that's the Haragumo. The Haragumo is down to 6k HP already. He'll be fine. And he's together with his Minotaur friend. What happened to like, uh, what happened to Rapri? We just got shot. That's an excellent. Like he, that's an excellent assessment I mean, of how he I mean, lost the HP. I mean, he was. I mean, he was the one like spamming the Moskva in the end, right? And he took all the fire from WND in the meantime. Don't worry, we have a full HP Montana. I'm surprised they haven't managed to get B yet, by the way. Oh, wait, they have. Never mind. I'm stupid. <laughs> it's talking. Look, look, look. I'm not a smart man. I saw red cap, red bad. But. Actually, oh, do you mean this? I have no idea what happened to him. Probably yeah, at the top then, right? He was he was on six k and uh, last time I saw him and then he like I turned around he's back on one k so I think he just got I think he just got outspotted by no he can't get outspotted but yeah that's the thing the clevers there's no leg mod club here for spotting which is well, the weird part Kremlin is just going for a gamer turn now I mean and... it's a gamer turn versus three DDs it's not exactly a... exactly oh, but there there's is a Montana, a Montana in the background. Yeah, it's your favorite ship. Tell us all about how the Montana is going to punish the fucking Kremlin at 25 kilometers in this gamer turn. Well, let's have a look. There's the server. Why is this Montana on the A-line to begin with? If I'm being honest, zero damage. Nice. Because, like, this Montana is way too far out of the game here. He's just not using his HP at all. And look at the Burgoyne in the return. Down to 14k already. And they're trying to like punish the Kremlin here, but he's getting smoked up. And he didn't really lose that much HP, considering like four ships shot him. Well, he's out of heals though. So. He has yeah, one more, and he still has like all the damage guns. Is he out of heal? Kremlin has what one more. Look you looked at the daring, probably. Or I the Wagner. The daring. I did look at the daring, you're right. So now is the opportunity for them to actually kill the Kremlin here. Like, every single ship in the game is probably focusing him right now. And his next year is still 30 seconds away. I'm surprised there's not, like, much counter-pressure happening during all of this. Like, all these ships are being allowed to shoot for free. He's, he's gonna try and duck behind this rock, but I think it's a bit too late now. He doesn't have the Damacon. He's still spotted. He has a huge he's... 8 seconds, but I'm not sure if it's in time. Uh, it's not if these shells do any damage there. Yeah. Yeah. So they do this the Kremlin here. They try to extract him, but it was too late. Well, Shots that's are not going to connect. That's yeah. enough for Wincon earning, though. Wincon. Yeah. And now we get into the like completely op uh, opposite problem. You're behind against a team with five DDs that can just run away. How do you get a kill? They have two minutes to figure that out. They don't need a kill necessarily, but they need a contest, which is, yeah, that's they're not gonna happen. Get, yeah, they're not contesting. They need a kill. They have two minutes, but, like, what's the target here? Uh, well, I honestly I think that Harogumo Salem were play, playing to pass the treaty while the Kremlin was farmed. I mean, their smoke was down, and they were trying to, like, screen against the wall of DDs, and Montana was up their stern, but... Yeah. The Montana, you're sailing, and the Montana was really fucking far away. You can do that. They spotted Kleber and the Moskva Raider, but that's like everything they really see. And you're not gonna kill the Montana at 1 minute 30 from full HP. Not with that attitude. 
Look. They're going to have to donate some sickness. One minute remaining. Yeah, WD and these folks are just running away for speed now. Yeah, I don't see a shaft eight cap step anytime soon either. They do need to be careful. The Wagner could run into the Haragumo and wait out and kill him. Ah, Salem just nearly died. What happened? Okay, now Salem is now going to make his way into that smoke screen, but there's another Montana Salvo? There's another Montana Salvo coming in soon. He can yes. bounce the Burgoyne, it's fine. There's the Monty Salvo, which he can also, it's... in theory, bounce, but that's missed. But I've al almost okay. killed uh, the Haragumo here instead. 15 and seconds, then... they are sending DDs both sides of this cap. The Ragnar is spotted inside of Minotaur Radar, he can't contest it. And he didn't make it in time. Five seconds. He's... No. Nope. Yep, Well. that <clears> one <throat> kill made the difference. WND saw the Kremlin, saw the potential kill, went for it, and got it. Well, that was a so, that was well a game. Done. I wouldn't I wouldn't say it was an exciting game, but it was certainly a game. Um, I also probably had the names the wrong way around for the entirety of that game because I'm an idiot. But yeah, right? No, I had it the right way around. Yeah. <clears throat> Yay! I like how it says Penter is the winner, despite the fact I pressed the. Yes. I had it the wrong way around the entire game. Nice. Yeah. I've had an interesting take in Twitch chat. If you don't bring smoke, you neutralize a lot of the value of radar cruisers. I, no, you don't. Like, no, no, no. You don't, like, it depends on what, what radar cruisers you want to use. Like, Moscow doesn't need smokes. In no, fact, it, it, bringing, bringing smokes for a mask pass like completely useless most of the time. If you bring something like a Brisbane or the wine, then smokes help. Sure. I thought you meant the other way around. I thought you meant like, if you don't bring smokes, you neutralize the value of the enemy team's radars. That's what I thought you meant. But, but anyway. Look, I don't have you the know. brain cells for this stuff. I see. Like, you still want to have, like, waiters to catch stuff like clevers and things, so they can't just run around freely. Yeah, it's really unfortunate that, like, I don't think Shaft reacted correctly there in the B cap. Like, they, they did identify the Kremlin as the problem and try to, like, get him out of there. But I don't think the way they tried to do that worked. And especially like the Salem and Haragumo falling back that much did not, uh, like was probably the deciding factor for the Kremlin going down. I don't know what happened to Webfrey exactly, but I think they were scared that Webfrey would just get raided by the Ragnar or just run into one of the Clevers and just die. So I can understand that, but I don't think they could afford to do that. Because that's the thing, if the Kremlin dies, but they trade at least like one clip air for that, it's fine. <sighs> and obviously, the southern flank was never gonna like get a kill. So it had to happen somewhere up north. Are you still alive, by the way? Because I can't no, hear I'm, you. I'm currently sending angry messages to places. Angry messages?
So what is you know the topic of these angry messages? Is it by any chance you know? God the mystery drops. drops. Yes. Nice. Yes. Anyway, map number two, Sleeping Giant, everybody's favorite Thunderdome experience. Yes, that's how that goes. The Pepega Dome. We all like the Pepega Dome. The Dome of Pepega. No question mark. Maybe smile face. Yes. Mm. Right. Sleeping Giant. I'm gonna put the map intro video on. As soon as I figure out where that button is. Oh, it's there. Huh? There it is. A colossal battle between opposing fleets will soon unfold here amongst the waters of the East China Sea. The residents of these islands will shortly bear witness to the thunder and flash of combat, and only one team will sail away victorious. This is Sleeping Giant. Sleeping Giant is a 48 by 48 kilometer domination style map with three cap points running in a line from west to east. The A cap is on the left, B is in the center, and C is on the right. Cap A on the left is fraught with danger. Previously located in the Thunderdome, the new cap location has an island on the left side that provides limited protection for both teams, while on the right side, the Thunderdome can provide cover for radar cruisers. Any team looking to take the cap will now have to gain control of both sets of islands in order to hold it. In the center, capture area B is just as perilous as it is now smaller than it used to be. Completely open with plenty of places for radar cruisers to hide nearby without being spotted, it's commonly left uncaptured until the mid and late game. Cap C on the right may be the most treacherous. Originally centered on the set of four islands to the left of the cap, which provided some cover for a daring destroyer player, the now wide open cap will be challenging for even the most skilled of teams to contest and hold, unless they gain control of the island chain near the center or the ocean of the Ten Line. 18 ships, two teams, one victor. It's time to play Sleeping Giant. Hey, Sleeping Giant. And I know I'm getting called Peppa Pig in chat. That's not so weird. Wow. Why, why are you being called Peppa Pig? <laughs> That's incredibly it's rude. Apparently I'm pink today. I mean, it's, it, it makes a brief change from blue, I guess. Have you considered being a normal fucking color for once? It's have impossible. Have you considered not removing your background? You wouldn't so appear so harshly against it. That that I could also just have a better background image. Have you considered fucking tidying your bedroom? Yes, it's happening. <laughs> uh huh. Understand. We'll have a nice day. All right. Anyway, <clears throat> tell us about the strats that we're about to see on Sleeping Giant, which are also going to continue to have the same bans with Shaft banning Brisbane and Des Moines being banned by WND. Um, a is going to be a disaster. People will die left, right, and center. B is going to be the um, same thing. B is probably going to be left alone by most people. Maybe there's going to be like two destroyers contesting the B cap for like forever, but I don't know. And C? C's going to be hmm. a mess. It's going to be minotaurs C. and they're going to explode. Yeah, especially since C is like not symmetrical. Because the like, north side has this stupid small island there. That I think is. Honestly, I think this is just bad for the North one because it's just in the way. I don't think you can really play around that one, right? I don't know. At least I haven't like seen anyone really use it. Nobody's used the Thunderdome. Uh, have we just been kicked from the room? No, it's dropped. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, we're thing. we're just going. Yeah, it's like, oh, I can I it. find the right map, uh, right game scene this time? Because well, what last you can do, game I was on the wrong one. What you can do is you can wait for the game to actually load, like now, and then you can see Shaft is on the green team, and then you can recognize that you have Shaft on the green team in your stream helper. You click on the scene that says game. And just like that, we get into game number two between Shaft and WND here on Warrior's Path. Not Warrior's Path, Sleeping Giant. God damn it, I was almost there. I was so close. So close. It was an attempt. Your face was All right. Attempt. Anyway, great team. Shaft, going to be running Ohio, Kremlin, Worcester, Salem, Moskva, Harakumuk, Yering, Daring, and Aragnall. 
And then again, D is bringing Montana, Bulgarian, Wooster, Moscow, Minotaur, Devil Hagagumo, and Devil Wagner. Okay, so the difference is here is we're bringing Woosters. Why are we bringing Woosters? Because everything else is banned, apart from Minotaur, and we want to be able to do some HE damage, I guess, apparently. Uh, the difference between W and uh, the, the Minotaur pick here and the uh, the Wooster pick, the Minotaur has a little bit extra range on his radar. He also has, like, 10 kilometer torpedoes, which is, you know, going to be a bit of a difference maker as well. <clears throat> Wooster going to be better at starting fires, I guess. <laughs> That's about it, really. I mean, that's the thing, right? Wooster has a shitload of DPM, and compared to, like, other HE DPM-heavy cruisers, it actually, like, pens a lot of uh, opposing cruisers everywhere. He's running because it does have the 30... Though. Like, it does have the 30mm HE pen per default. Like, Mod Kreml, like you mentioned. Uh, like, Mod Moscow, that's normal. Nothing else spicy sticking out for the greens. Let's have a look at the reds. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah, I'm having a look as well, but it looks fairly standard. Vigilance on the Burgoyne, no brisk. Yeah, even a normal Wooster on both sides. I mean, you see a normal Wooster. One's running Turret Traverse mod, but... Yeah, that's a weird one. Like, well, I don't think you need that one. Yeah, I mean, aiming systems on a cruiser dispersion is, like, even even CL dispersion is still going to be nice to have, like, you know, yep. whatever. Like, Wooster's turret reverse is already blazingly fast. You really don't need an extra there. But what I would if rather they have, like, extra shell nets. Anyway, I'm going to look at the initial deployments over the air cap. We're going to be sending Haragumo Wooster Kremlin. So that's just going to be a kiting Wooster. It's just going to sit in this motor screen. Do not pass go. Do not collect 200 pounds. Etc. B cap, literally nothing. <clears throat> Although the daring might be smoking the Moscow in position, then going for the contest. That's an interesting maneuver. Uh, then we got the Ohio behind that. C cap, we have the Ragnar, Gearing, and Salem. The Moscow still got chunked. Did it? Yes. Yeah, he sort of. Barely got clipped there. He had a bit of damage. Yeah. He, he, got, he got his rare turret in capped. That's how painful that experience nice. was for him. So WND in the meantime is sending Harugumu Wooster right towards A. Moskva's parking on the donut and Montana is slowly going towards A as well over the spotting spotter plane. Wagner is loitering somewhere in the vicinity of B and Wagner, Harugumu, Minotaur and Vogoin are trying to contest C here where they're going to be outnumbered. That's the name of the skill that they're not running. Yes. <clears throat> nice. Uh, Wagner spot each other, shooting each other. Let's see who can aim better, I guess. So, another advantage they have over on this flank, Minotaur with the 10 km radar versus the Salem with 8.5 km radar. Uh, there's a radar Salem, right? It is. Uh, the Minotaur also has Hydro that the Salem does not have access to, and the Salem is going to have a bit of an issue if he tries to come out with you, because there are going to be torpedoes from Haragrimo and Minotaur pounding away at him in the smoke screen. And, yeah, that sounds like a painful experience, especially when he's, like, currently yeah. accelerating into them. Yeah, it, it's a way to say them as well, so no Hydro. I... <sighs> yes, I know you just said that, but, you know... That was what the entire rant was about. <laughs> Um, so yeah, he's kind of just sitting there. The question is, do they, these tops have range? Because they might not have. They're Harry tops, yes, they do. Maybe have 12 km. And Cody decided was reversing anyway, so he could be fine. Not sure if we can say the same from Otten, who's currently just getting farmed, but nah, actually, it's just gonna be these but he's losing this island ledge somewhat as cover i don't think it i don't think it prevents you from getting spotted over this island though no the islands here are really fucky that's the technical explanation of it they're fucky but Fair otten's enough. used to being farmed like i'm pretty sure i've seen oh look otten's being farmed in his mascot like at least 10 times in this tournament i see just you know you play a mascot you get farmed, yes. Right, well. So, funnily enough, enough no cap has been flipped yet. I don't, think think no I don't even sure if a cap was. I don't even know if a cap was touched yet, but that's going to change at least. I don't think no cap have actually uh, played in this tournament. I think they're retired. You're like, shut up. 
go. All right. Uh, Shaft Ragnar is touching C, gets raided immediately by the Minotaur. Leaves. And just leaves. Well, we say leaves, but he's just like slightly going outside. Minotaur actually taking a bunch of drops here. That was two top hits on the WND Minotaur on the 10 line from the gearing. Can people not eat top I'm not tops. looking at them? Rude. Yep. WD Swagna finally takes the recap though. Yay. Honestly, that's a little bit of an issue for, uh, for Shaft here because like, they're going to get C eventually here. At least they should. Technically. Unless their Wagner gets reset again. Which he does. Okay, very cool. Mm. He isn't even spotted right now, he's just getting shot. They're gonna get C eventually, but the problem is they're gonna be behind on points a, li a little bit. So I they need to like, find a way, yeah, they need to find a way into like one additional cap or need to like start blocking B at some point. Because I don't see them getting A soon, anytime well, soon. Well, Moskva's just burned his radar, right? At, at B, so they can re they can contest this as soon as the radar goes down. Kremlin knows that the radar's active, so he's going to call that out. And then Vegas Nightmare, well, Vegas Nightmare's oh. wanted into said radar. Oh. How are you going to recontest B with the Moskva and the Wagner next to it, though? That sounds odd. Uh, by sending more ships at it. Well, yeah. But of course, at that point, you need to be careful that uh, WND isn't counter pushing C at some point. Okay. I mean, so got <clears> lip, <throat> finally. How many smokes has the Rag Haragumo got left? One. Um, two. He has two more. Okay. Yeah. And Tao being spotted again gets shot by like everything. But it's at such long range that there's really much happening. What happened to uh, the shark booster on the one line, by the way? Uh, torpedoes, I guess, or Montana's. Yep. Montana actually good against Booster. What is this? Yeah, Booster needs to be a little bit more careful here. It's a very passive game. Play. Yep. But now that the booster got shot away from the A cap, uh, I don't think they can prevent WND from just taking A here. But this is a newer matchup, like this is kind of bad. There's blind shots coming in, almost connecting actually, but not quite. Booster is hiding these stops, so they should not hit anything. I think they just need to send Lucar on an adventure. Like, just. Yeah. Through A, round B. Like, through A, into the Thunderdome, around the front of the Moskva. Go take B. Mm -hmm. Do you see other plans that could potentially do anything? Because I'm struggling. I mean, they're currently just rotating their Wagner towards the B cap. Maybe that helps. And they definitely have the opportunity to just try to like get the Wagner into the Thunderdome to contest A from there, or like help with contesting A. That could work, for example. Or they can try and farm out the Moskva. They could also do that. There's also like uh, conga lines coming for the Moskva. I don't think they're hitting right now. Not unless he continues to accelerate. Nah. Uh -huh. No, he's not. They don't even have range. Instead, entire one has not actually taking a lot of damage here. Yep. And now he's radared. I think the radar's actually more for the dam gets smoked up uh, above the B cap right now. Yeah, but he's still radared. Just because the radar yeah, wasn't actually... meant for him yeah. doesn't mean that he's not spotted by it. Yeah. I feel like Shaft is trading really poorly here on B right now. Yeah, like Wagner daring against Moskva Wagner on just a straight up shootout, which is happening right now, just loses. They committed hard mostly, to see and then got nothing. Yeah, out of mostly, it as well. mostly because the daring is just not providing anything here. 
I can tell was down to 8k HP. He still has two heals, so he's not like super low, but. Well, they initially brought five ships to sea, right? And they got out traded and had to fight for that cap tooth and nail, and then they finally rotated off and, like, they got nothing out of it. And they also lost C entirely. Sorry, A and B, sorry. Yeah, the fact that they lost A with basically equal forces is just really bad. I guess that, that just couldn't have happened. Now they actually voted in the Kremlin alone towards the B cap, but I'm not sure what they're gonna achieve with that. And like, it's what, not like he's gonna get topped out, go. is it? He's not gonna get topped out, but there's still two Ragnars that can farm him. He's not gonna devastate the Moskva through the bow anytime soon. So, like, WND has, like, more than enough time to rotate to counteract this push. So, I don't think the Kremlin alone is gonna be enough. So right now, WND is just happy with how how this is going. Does the same have radar range over the entirety of your C cap? By the way, he does. Okay. So do you remember when I was saying that no one is really utilizing the small island over the C cap? Shaft is, and I like this honestly. Like the Salem radar is enough to cover C, so why not? I mean, sure, but. C, C isn't the problem right now. Yep. The main shaft is relocating forces. Like, the Ohio can help on B now. He has an angle on the Moskva. Uh, they have a Kremlin going for the Thunder Dome right now. Well, the problem with that is the Wooster and Haragumo have given up ground. And now the Kremlin's just going to get farmed over this island by Wooster Haragumo, and it's not even going to be fair. Like, he can't go into yeah. the Thunderdome. It's not going to help him. He needs to just, like, accept the fact you're going to get a little bit farmed by the Wooster Haragumo, turn back out, go for the Mott. He's too late. He's way too late. Can't make the turn out. Yeah, currently just sit, sitting there. He, oh, he's just fine to get a shot on the Wagner here. That's I mean, pretty good damage. But hmm. Entau is also down to 4k HP, no heals anymore. Well, Papagas Nightmare's caught by, like, right in front of a Moskva because he committed because he thought he had a Kremlin in support of him and then didn't. Like, this Moskva raider is just spotting everything right now. He's even spotting the Wooster in the background and the Haragumo. And down, down to 2k HP, still getting shot by at least two Wagners. 700 HP and goes down. Okay. Meanwhile, the Moskva position here is providing nothing. I'm not, I'm, not a fan, I'm not a fan of the uh, Orton Moscow position here. Like, it's fine if you're going to use that it as was, an anchor for a push, but... It was good to, like, contest C, but now, like, WD isn't contesting C right now. So, like, you need to utilize this Moscow somehow. Yeah, and this Kremlin that was full HP before is now down to 35k. Yeah. Like, it's like, as you said, you just got... Absolutely turbo farmed. No, and like, what is he that. gonna achieve here? Like, mm. even if he like, like the best thing you can really hope for here is to like ram the Montana. That's it. No, honestly, it's it's not going well. I mean, Shaft has two minutes left to like achieve anything here. Daring is smoking up here to try to get anything done. Drops to two KHP. He's also out of heals. It's fine. Clearly, clearly, it's all fine. This is all part of the master plan, right? The master plan of dodge PTA. <laughs> I mean... You're gonna go to the lower bracket instead. Yeah. Like, Shaft is not, not gonna be out of the tournament after this, that's for sure. No, they, they like... go the lower bracket, but... I, I don't know. Like... But this looks just way too passive. Yeah, the entire series has been super passive. And not only no, no, not only way too passive, also this just getting out traded everywhere. All these tops are really, really bad. Yeah, amazing taking one here in the Salem. Otten barely dodges them. But well, no heal for the Salem anymore, and he's getting shot from everywhere. And uh, these broadside will be going. 
He's bought side to a book line. Wasn't even getting in. All right, well. Oh. Sharp they... is contesting all the caps right now. They are. So you remember when I said they need to swing, send the Kremlin oh. forward through? Well, never, never mind. mind. Never mind. Well, they did. That was a hyper passive game. Like, I mean, frankly speaking, Shark just lost the trades. Especially well, A, they just lost, just lost A way too hard. They well, yeah, because they had the their, their their Kremlin was just like a non-factor on that flank. The Montana was getting involved. The Montana blacked the worst out. The Kremlin was behind a rock for the entirety of it. The um, Kremlin had angles on the boost if he saw it. I feel like the uh, Harugumo boost actually misplayed that. Because like it was Harugumo boost against Harugumo boost, so you shouldn't have a spotting advantage there on either side. But apparently they definitely did uh, have that on WND side. I don't know, I, I would just like to see something more aggressive from the Kremlin. Like, you're a Kremlin. You you are a pool one pick for a uh, pool two pick for a reason. Like use that meat and potatoes that you are and just like force something at eh? I don't know. Like You can't really do that though. Like sure you, you can't can. really force anything there. Like if you push forward then Harugumo booster and the smoke screen will just completely murder you. They'll farm you. They will completely kill you. Like you can literally put your Mon Montana there to spot the Kremlin and the Kremlin will just die. He tells, she tells. Anyway, not my look. My my point was sitting there with full HP behind that rock while your Wooster and Haragumo were dying, and you were losing other parts of the map. Do something. Like, you know what I mean? That's like that's what yeah. I mean. Like you. Like it was definitely like there. a lack of contingency on Sharks' uh, strategy there. I agree with that at least. Like All right, what? Like, first, where that gave up B completely, they needed to get more done. Let's see if there's a game 3 for us. Um, let's have a look. Do you want to have preliminary results of the other games? I only see the results of game 1. For all the sets yet. Do you want sure. it or not? Sure, while I wait right. and state the game updates channel and see if there's a game for us. You talk. Alright. Penta versus Wayne is currently in favor of Penta. Wow, that's a surprise. Vor Look. <laughs> Vor versus STCN is in favor of Vor currently, and Elsa wow, versus Tsuki is in favor of Tsuki. Wow, that's a surprise. Say the last one is a, a slight surprise. I, would, I wouldn't say it's a surprise. Elsa or any. I, you know, I held myself back from saying that. And now you're just, you know, ah, and I lose. <laughs> okay. I can't believe you would imply me of making such Elliot. Uh, uh, L.A. Null, look, yes. L.A. Null. Look, yes. look, look, what I was about to say is that uh, the official cast is probably casting Elder with a circuit because that's the last opportunity to see an A, an a team. Wow. Toxic Henning. What? Is it unrealistic? Yeah. Like, like, Tsuki played really well. They're one of the few teams that took a, a map off of Penta. So, uh, t I'll tell you what I've discovered. Bright t-shirts, terrible idea, because then the, like, auto white balance of the camera just has yeah. no clue what it's doing. Exactly. Uh, it's actually the white balance that's, like, fucking up my blueness, by the way. Have you considered being less blue? For some, for some reason, if I, like, let the webcam do it Yuki itself, Setsuna. it completely fucks it Yuki over. Yuki Setsuna. Sorry? Referee Yuki Setsuna. Go, 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 go. Get in the room. I still didn't understand what you said. Join the trading room! Yuki Setsuna! For the fifth time! Oh, that's a name you're throwing at me. I'm like, what are these words you're throwing at me? Jesus Christ, Henning. 
So, what do you think if I'm going to say join the training room? The next couple of words would be, would it be maybe the it host? It would be the group? fucking. It would be the fucking teams. Yep. Well, no. We are casting. What? STCN versus War Game Three? Question mark. Yes. Yes, we are. Well, apparently we have a game three on that set. Yes, really, <laughs> we're casting it. <laughs> Who uh, would have thought? Right, go find me the bands. Look, I need to like set up things. Yes, like the bands. Um, 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 matches. Of war. War of Band Clever. STCN of Band Frisbane. Hey. You're not very good at this. Hey, I was just opening that page, okay? Uh huh. It's gonna be Warrior's Path. I'm gonna press the Warrior's Path video and then not deal with anything. Fine. With more coastline than any country in the world, the nooks and crannies of the shores of northern Canada set the stage for a showdown between opposing fleets. Amidst the barren rocks and snow-capped peaks, only one team will remain unvanquished. This is Warrior's Path. Warrior's Path is a 48 by 48 kilometer domination style map with three cap points running in a line from west to east. The A cap is on the extreme left, B is in the center, and C is on the far right. Given how the caps are arranged, and how risky entering the B cap is in the early game, the most action is commonly found along the 1, 2, and 9, 10 lines. To the west, cap A now no longer can be safely controlled with radars from nearby islands. Teams will have to rely on smoke screens and additional fire support to gain the upper hand in the battle for this capture point. Capture Area B is a difficult and challenging place to be in the early goings of a game. While the capture point was moved to a more central position, nearby islands still provide plenty of cover for radar cruisers, making this point exceptionally challenging to capture. Off to the east, the Sea Cap offers solid cover for cruisers along the northwestern and southwestern edges, but precious little cover inside the cap itself. The long, narrow channel to the east that connects C to B is a frequent place to see pushes occur in the mid to late game, depending on the board positions of each team. Warrior's Path has a long and storied history within the tournament, having produced many close and competitive games. It begs the question, what memorable plays and matches will result this time around? 18 ships, two teams, one victor. It's time to play Warrior's Path. Yeah. This is apparently like war picked loop and won. Apparently, which is I like, didn't actually, I didn't actually which like, is like the other mind maps blowing. You didn't actually tell me what the other maps were because you're not a very good co caster, honestly. It was, it was loop and sleeping giant, apparently. Mm, okay. You Ooh. had the thing open already. You could have looked yourself. I could have. Or I could have relied on my core caster to tell me these things. Also, apparently, in the Vorbus STCN uh, match, we have a combined total of five Kleber bands. But Cle Clenning? Clenning, yes. But Clenning, Clenning. I've heard that. Cl yes. But Clenning, I've heard that Heber is uh, balanced. That's what I was going to say. I don't know why. Words it's so balanced, it's like the number one band in the tournament by far. I, I like how I'm like in the darkness now. I'm just I'm just the darkness. I'm the darkness. Yep. You know what? Fuck it. Like, oh. It's so weird that like uh, Marceau is an unlimited pool and Kleber is just not. And everyone hates Kleber so much. It's like banned every second game, it feels like. We can have the full light experience. Enable <laughs> Discord light mode. No. Why would you do that? This got light mode as cursed, and everyone who's like using that just immediately loses my respect. You don't have any respect to start with. I have respect to give away, but you you're know, not getting it. I can't even see my monitor. I can't see my monitor. It's just, I'm reflecting onto my monitor. That's impressive. 
impressive. Also, I see like the lights coming into you now. Soon is it time? For, as soon it is time for the sun to murder you. Yes, that's exactly what I've been talking about. Exactly. It's only like uh, I give it like fifteen minutes, twenty maybe. Oh, it's already there. I mean, I could just go close the blinds. But so apparently we're getting trash talked by Kid Evan in your chat. Yeah? Understandable. He's grounded. <laughs> nice. Alright, so... Oh, oh yes, path. Let's like... Actually, like, do something like professional or something like that, and not less. No, weird shit. no, I've given no. up being a professional. I'm gonna be an amateur. Ah, okay, I'm gonna okay. be a beginner. I'm gonna, we're gonna have a learning experience. Uh, like the learning experience that Loop apparently is picking the map. It's fine, we have Warrior's Path to cut. That's an actually okay map. It is. So, for Warrior's Path, um, STC is going to spawn on the south spawn, according to the spreadsheet. It's actually not the spreadsheet, but, you know, whatever. And do, 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 do. we are apparently still waiting for five minutes because the game is scheduled to start at 1600. Wonderful. I guess the whole in game threes. So what do you uh, what do you expect to see on Warriors Path? Is it time that someone brings out the German battleship going through the seven line? Honestly, I don't mind the, the the GK parked in the middle of B cap. I don't mind that as long as it's from North yeah. Spawn and it's not Killabin on the wrong fucking island. I mean, that's the thing, right? The B cap is not on that island anymore, so it's kind of useless. You're right, it isn't. That's like the world problem of that strat. If the cap is not there, what are you doing? I don't know. I expect what, what I expect. What we're gonna see is somebody's gonna re eat really awkward tops at A cap, and someone's gonna eat really awkward tops at C cap, and then it's gonna be a decided purely based on RNG. Yeah, the first game of uh, Shaft was the WND. I feel like Shaft CDs ate like three or four drops. They're really good at that. Like that was just. I think they basically just spoke them the back there. All the DDs are just low HP because of drops. Apart from, I think, the Wagner would have just got shot a lot. And the Dagger would also get shot a lot. Apparently, uh... Exigen might have ran the Clots Ready build during the, uh... the Penta Rain game. Uh, the... what? Hot build? The Clots Ready build. You know, the BFK special. I don't even actually know what it is. It's when you don't spec any captain point. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. I could have I should have seen that one. I mean it's been a yeah, sticker on the cots Discord forever. I'm not looking at how these things are called on Discords. So heading, what are you gonna teach me German? First of all, why would you want to learn German? Anschluss! <laughs> it's not a reason. It is. <laughs> there is no Anschluss plans right now. Sure there aren't. Look. Are you okay? No Anschluss planned. No Anschluss planned. None. None. 
You know how hard it is to wink with both eyes? It is. It is actually not right. Oh, wow. we're like already pretending like we're like five hours in. We're like pretending. Live for an hour. <laughs> hey, our game is starting, so you can Look, get out of this mess. This is professional level casting you come here for. What we do in between games. Nobody's here for like the like coverage or the analysis. We're here for the. But well, anyway, STC and Green Team. Hey, what? STC and a green team. Oh. I set up the thing wrong, yeah. Anyway, green team for this game will be STC and they're going to be running Ohio, Kremlin, Des Moines, Moscow, Stalingrad, Marseille, Shimakazi, Gearing, and Adairing. And Paul is bringing Vermont, Kremlin, Des Moines, Moscow, Stalingrad, Gearing, a Kamarovsk, a Daring, and a Yuyang. Penning! Why is yeah, there a Kamarovsk on my screen? Oh, it's classic noun, okay. <laughs> it's always classic. It's classic noun, it's always classic noun. <laughs> nice talk. Yep. Uh, um, the do we see anything special here? I don't think so. On the SDCN side as well, uh, at least. Daring during Dazzle. Uh, look. Yeah. It's gonna well, take a while. Out numbered. I think that's actually not the mines are on demolition expert. Dead. Normal Vermont build feuds Batman. Moscow running DCP mod plot four, and so is uh, the Stalingrad. A little bit unusual. I mean, I can see it, but I I personally value being. It able makes to press sense. Review, I suppose. Uh, like, Dazzle Yu Yang it, running radar. Like, Ra it depends on how uh, how likely you think it is that you uh, have to like dodge tops. Rodemod Kabarovsk. Can we call can we call this Yu Yang the Razzle Dazzle because it's running radar and Dazzle? We could call it the Razzle Dazzle. Look, you can attempt to like make that a thing, but I'm not sure if you know you can pop pop you know. Popular, I, I'm giving up. Dazzle gearing too. We've got three dazzles in this game, by the way. Three, three dazzles. That's dazzle is an OP skill. Clearly, clearly. Maybe EU will unlock the dazzle tech one day. I think or they maybe. prefer like you know, winning skills yeah. that improve your own ability instead of like trying to mitigate the enemy's abilities. Details, details. All right, well, initial appointments. Green team. Uh, what the heck is this gearing position? Uh, gearing going to be very deep uh, with his Des Moines nowhere near. They're very disconnected. I guess they're not using him as a smoke bot. Moscow heading to the island on the nine ten, on the sorry the the fall line. Ohio behind that. Daring going to be reversing towards the cap. Marseille and Kremlin going to be slowly making their way over to sea between BC right now, and then Stalingrad Shimakazi at the sea flank. Radar comes out from the Moscow. We'll spot the opposing daring in the middle of the big cap. Yep. Yeah, first staring, went to the recap, got waited. He has his own Moscow on the island, could counter waiter the enemy daring, but because the enemy daring is not actually contesting me right now, he's just holding it. So he stops and hit anything because the daring's running Hydra. In the meantime, we have the Yuyang Carlos going towards the A cap, and the Yuyang might actually find the gearing here in the waiter. Yep, there we go. So now this gearing might take a bunch of damage. I mean, the gearing does have one thing going for it, and that's just 25 millimeter. It's not 25. What's the gearing spell? It's 21. It's, it's it's 21. It does not help against Kabov's HE. It does help against Yu Yang. Hmm. Well, there's the a... gearing takes quite a bit of damage, but he gets out with like 9k less health, and Kabov's is dodging the tops, I think. So it's Kabov's. It doesn't really dodge. And... And the last one, the last part of the deployment is gearing the mine going wide on the C cap with the Kremlin behind them, and the Stalingrad is taking the radar position there. Both teams committing Stalingrad to this side of the map. 
But apparently the guy that didn't run Captain Bill, uh, a Captain Bill also didn't have any modules. He was completely blank. No, no, he, he, had, he had modules. Mm. Oh, okay. Then my chat is just lying. BFK didn't have modules. But Hexgen did. Anyway. Torpedoes towards the Shimakazi. Okay. Nah, nah, nah. Just, just my, my, mild desync. I'm not, not going to think about that too much. Let's see. Uh, Yu Yang on A got waited by the Des Moines. Needs to go away. Yeah. But I think after that he could try to recontest A again. It's a bit risky because they're giving out spot 7 as a Des Moines and smoke screen. The Yu Yang has a radar though. So I don't know. Well. Uh, he has a radar in 30 seconds. So he can catch the gearing before he gets the A cap. So he can. Maybe. Right. So the gearing can, like. The Yu Yang can raid all the gearing, the Kabaros can shoot, and the Kabaros can, in theory, tank them to mine because. Yeah, lol, 50mm belt. But. You say that, but the Kabaros is taking quite a bit of damage, you know? Yeah, he does have heals, though, so he can still tank this for a while. Hmm. Well. Yes, the Yang Raider. And there's the Cabarrosk opening up, question mark. We're waiting for a Raider delay. You obviously don't have that as a S cast does. Well, the Mont Salvo coming in too. That one does not hit. The Yu Yang just opts to not open up. He wants to just Why would immediately you? contest. No reason for the Yu Yang to open up here. Exactly. I'm just, you know, trying to explain our viewers why he doesn't do that. Mm. So we can like, just the... immediately contest. That is a big scary Des Moines, yeah. Alright, what's happening at sea? Smokes have pushed up. Uh... Yeah. Yep. Alright, so every cap has an owner now. A cap taken by war while B and C fell into STCN sounds. This is like half health Moscow on my screen. I guess he just got farmed. He got farmed a bit, yes. I mean, so does the enemy, did the enemy Moscow. I guess there's just fire RNG involved at this point. Maybe the Ohio like shot us high one time as well. I'm actually surprised War's Moscow continues to trade here, considering he's down damage gun. He should probably just chill. He can't. There's a Stalin guy right around him. Fair enough. But I think he can still like try to shot block at least behind his island, right? Yeah. Can we just like look at this Kremlin position briefly? Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, he did a march. And now Vos Des Moines is not in a comfortable spot anymore. No, he, he not only did a march, he also did a May and a June as well. You're like especially funny today. I'm always funny. He does have a slight gearing issue though. Is the gearing going for this? Because uh, I yes. am... Is this a torpedo reduction Kremlin? No. This is close. The gearing, I mean, the Kremlin just shot. Right, I well. don't... Are 10 tops enough? Uh... What's torpedo like about is, Kremlin? High 30s, I think? Like, the Daring is gonna shoot the gearing as well, so... And the Kremlin this... is gonna have a salvo here. That's enough. The Kremlin, the Kremlin salvo is enough for the kill now. Nope. Wasn't. One top's no enough. Launch one set! Second one, not a coming, yep. I Kremlin didn't only down to three, but that? okay. I didn't see if he permed that or what. Uh, but now the Stalin is like trying to push behind him, and the Moskva is just uh, uh, shooting him as well. The Moskva actually like uh, angled his orientation completely here. Just facing angled, the Kremlin now. Angled his orientation. Wording. Changed his orientation. Look, I I had like two different sentences in my mind, and I just combined the two. I 
Well, we've just combined two ships shooting at a Kremlin, or dead Kremlin. And yep, and, and now... Now there's a Kremlin on the old Des Moines position, which, um, he's very alone. And, you know, there's a Shimmer. Oh god, are we about to see round two? I, I, I am afraid we might. I am very afraid that we might. However, the problem for war is that there's no trading potential in this case. Sure there is. You can trade a Kremlin for half of a Shimmer. You know what I mean, okay? There's the radar coming out. That's gonna tell the Kremlin that the Shimmer is indeed in the area trying to do something very unfortunate. However, the Marseille is also pushing up, and this is a very, very spicy Kremlin board side right there. If the Kremlin wanted to turn out, he would, would have had to do that right now, but I think he did, lost his time, you know, and he's also giving too much sight to the start, I'm pretty sure. There's some stuff happening back at here as well, but nothing too impressive. Right. Right, Kremlin goes forwards. Sees the Stalingrad. Oh. Can't really go anywhere. I mean, he's got a nice angle on the Stalingrad, right? Yep, yeah. Stalin yeah, is that's... angling too much for no reason. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, dying. He's, he's dying. Alright, here comes the Shimmer. I think I'm reverse, uh, Dark Temple reversing right now. He is reversing, he's just dead. Yep. Does he have prop mod? He doesn't have prop mod, he can accelerate, but... I don't think he can accelerate uh... this one, Chief. He's still reversing. Boing. Let's and start it on 13k. Alright, so, uh, taking stock of the situation, um, points are very firmly in the hands of war, but caps, I mean, kills are... Um, the Vermont just 70k at the Ohio, okay. What? SDCN's Ohio just lost, like, all his health. There was some major white buying going on right there. Understandable, have a nice day. Like, in Ohio is not full HP anymore. But he's also not low enough yet to die. Uh, Walls are sending their Moscow into the B cap here. They're trying to face tank for the gearing kill here, but I don't think he can get the gearing. There are things happening in various places. This is a very close game right now, but Walls about to like lose more ships. And I don't think they can afford to do that. They're already down two. Gearing is safe. And now it's just a Moskva versus Moskva Baron fight, and there's a slight HP advantage going on here. Meanwhile, Daring gets rated at 4k HP. Where's the fucking Stalingrad? Yeah. He's fine. Yeah, Stalingrad rated. He also sees the Marseille coming. Yeah, there's stuff happening. Let's just zoom out a little bit. <laughs> Stalin just moving forward here, but he needs to like be careful. There's a uh, there's an SCCN Stalin on the channel. There's an Ohio in front of him. Moscow manages and... to dodge torpedoes. How is he still alive? I don't know. The Stalingrad looks like he might be exploding very soon though, because there's like a Stalingrad. Yeah. These positions are so volatile. I think this is the best look here, yeah. Moskva's burning down now, that's a permafire, I'm pretty sure. Yep. There goes the Moskva. Now that's the start and got angle in time. Ohio taking another big hit here, down to 12k HP. Stalin does not die to the first cyber here. What so now the question is... The Moskva sure. is Wait, the, I think the STC and Stalin could just die here now. He didn't get the nah, kill. No, this Moskva is gone now, before they got the salvo off. Okay. Although the Stalingrad is on double fire with no DCP ready, so, you know. 
Yeah, that's a long duration fire. No heal available. Damage going in 40 seconds. He might just burn down here. So that's another trade. We went in the back one, the Vermont get just got farmed by a Des Moines really, really hard. Down to 30k. Currently running a heal, so he's not dead yet. Uh Starting one does go down to the Carboros double fire. Now the Marseille is getting farmed by said Carboros, but the Carboros is a little bit close, so the Marseille is just really angrily shooting back. Yeah. This one, this might hurt. Yeah. Yeah, it did hurt. It, it hurt a lot. Don't worry though, they have a Yu Yang on the one line. Ah, yes. Yeah, I was just running out of HP and shits. Yeah. They did have, like, a big point lead, but then they just started losing all their ships. So. Yeah. SDCN's Ohio down to 11k, finds another heal. Oh yeah, it's in Ohio, they're made of, like, duct tape. We're not gonna get farmed out, or torped out, or just shot out, I'm not sure which. He's gonna die though. He's said just something. He decides to die to the torpedo, okay. Noble decision, noble decision. Well, and that leaves Vor with three ships remaining. Uh, one of them, a Yu Yang, was getting outspotted by a Shimmer and murdered. I mean, the blind fire. The blind fire. Hey, good blind fire. Now we just need to live and murder. Oh, never mind. And not die, Oshin Mikazi. Right, so Yu Yang versus Des Moines. There's potential for double strikes here. AP, AP, shoot the AP, AP, use the AP, use the AP, AP, you can sit there, you can sit him, you can sit him. Not at that angle. You, you could have. Boing. There was definitely oh, set up potential. Well. So with that, um, maybe. STCN. Takes game three and it's advances on the lowest bracket. So that's Vaughn knocked out of the tournament. That is Vaughn knocked out of the tournament. Right, that is a surprise. These were. Vaughn was the winner of the C Cots. Yep. STCN with yeah. third question mark? I think so. Like, this is a really, a really big surprise. Yeah, this is an upset. This would be the equivalent of like, I don't know. Uh, War was uh, Asia first and STCN was Asia second. Oh. It was actually a rematch of the grand final of that region and STCN took it. So this would be the equivalent of like, Rain beating Penta. Except Penta being... Well, actually, yeah, probably would be the equivalent, right? Right? It would be, yes. Right, congratulations, STCN. And your strange looking Kirby. What is that? I have no idea what you just said. It was all noises. Alright. So SCCN is gonna go forward to play Shaft in the next round.